there is a crack- crackdown without a doubt uh, because uh, we know that uh, today uh, it's the Eid day and the post uh, Eid prayers there was uh, uh, according to government sources uh, they say that uh, there was an apprehension of violence if these people would have been allowed because all of them had uh, different plans while uh, Yasin Malik was planning to go to Islamabad, Anatnag and uh, uh, really address an uh, Eid namaz then uh, you had Gilani and Mirwais also Mirwais had the plan to lead the Eid uh, congregational prayers at uh, uh, the Eidgah uh, however, uh, they all have been put under preventive detention. Uh, they say that uh, if they had been allowed, that could have led to law and order issues. So they have been put under detention, but already we're getting news that there has been violence in Anatnag in certain places. And uh, now uh, in Eidga as well, there has been violence as it happens almost after every Eid per every year we see in the Eidga area which is, of course, the biggest uh, uh, assembly or congregation of Eid prayers uh, in Srinagar. There again, there is violence, and it seems that uh, this has not worked for the government because even after separatists have been put uh, uh, under mm-hmm. preventive detention, still there has been violence in pockets uh, of Srinagar, especially in Eidga and in Anatnag. And, you know, Farid, even as you report about this latest development, you know, why does something like this actually record so very often? This is also because of a blow-hot, blow-cold policy that essentially we've seen Mehbooba Mufti indulging in then. Uh, well, yes. In fact, the PDP is uh, kind of struggling uh, to come to terms uh, with uh, the situation in the sense that uh, while uh, before elections and even during elections, they fought uh, elections on a very different plank, talking of battle of mm-hmm. ideas, talking of giving space to the separatists. And then when they had to come together with the BJP, they are in a very tight spot. So that's why you're seeing this uh, hot and cold policy, this flip-flop where they uh, really detain separatists, arrest them, and the next day they're again out. So they're, it's, it's clearly a confused policy. They don't know how to really go about it. And that's mm-hmm. why we're seeing that uh, uh, these things are happening. You see separatists out, you see separatists uh, again behind jail the next day and today again it's happening